to The Metal Hunter. My name is Luke. Uh, this morning I woke up and Fit for an Autopsy has released a new track uh, called Fear Tomorrow. Uh, I love Fit for an Autopsy. They're one of the very few metalcore, deathcore kind of bands that I still listen to. Um, their record from last year, The Sea of, of Tragic Beasts, was fantastic. It fell just outside of my top ten. Um, and The Great Collapse, which came out a couple of years ago, is one of my favourite albums of all time. So I'm always excited to hear new music from them. They posted about it on their Facebook page, and this is what they said. So Fear Tomorrow, like all Fit for an Autopsy songs, is a reaction to the current climate we're all literally stuck in. What have we done that's brought us to this point, and what does the future hold if we keep repeating the same mistakes? It's time to take a hard look at our systems and the value we place on human life. Stay informed and think about what you can do to ensure things don't get worse. Get worse, I should say. Uh, we'll get off the podium now. Thanks for listening. Um, so basically what they did is when the tour was cancelled, they put up a bunch of their merch, like their old merch. They went through all of their storage units and got some um, some old uh, out-of-print merch and then they just started selling them. And basically that um, that helped fit for an autopsy basically float through this this time. Uh, a lot of bands are hurting, so it's, it's a fantastic time to help out bands that you absolutely love. So if you've got some coin, make sure that you drop them drop them a, a, an order. Um, I'll link them down below. There's a couple of different places that you can order from depending where you are in the world. If you don't know who Fit For An Autopsy are, they've been around for quite a while. They've been around since 2008. They have a familiar guitarist uh, and under the name of Will Putney. Now, if you don't know who Will Putney is, I have spoken about him quite a bit over the last couple of videos uh, or over the last couple of years really. Um, he is one of those fantastic uh, individuals in the music scene who is uh, multi-talented. He plays guitar, he writes some incredible music, he is a producer, he is an engineer, uh, he records a bunch of different bands. Um, so uh, it's always fantastic to hear from him. Uh, and also, if you haven't heard his other band called End, I recommend you go and check them out. They've got a new single out. Uh, I'll link that down below as well. Uh, so here we go. Enough talking from me. Let's get into it. Fit for an autopsy. Fear tomorrow. Now, this is a standalone single. Um, they put this single de uh, together to say thank you for all the people that bought merch from their out-of-print sale, basically, which I think is a fantastic, fantastic idea and a nice way to give a bit of a nod to, to all the fans that helped them out. So here we go. Death call. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools their way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle.
I thought the song was over and then he screamed again. Holy fuck. Oh man. Now that was uh, a bit of a return uh, to some of their older stuff. Um, it sounded closer to uh, Hellbound and uh, Absolute Hope, Absolute Hell, um, especially with like the blasting or guttural death growls from Joey. Um, wow. Fucking fantastic. Um, so their, their most, pr- uh, their most recent releases over the last couple of records have been a little bit more progressive and a little bit more melodic, um, but um, still hard hitting as fuck, uh, lyrically and sonically. Uh, Will Putney has an amazing uh, way of uh, of building tension within songs, um, and Joey, their vocalist, has a, a fantastic range. Like he can sing as low as you want to go, and he's got a great melodic voice as well. So if you haven't listened to much Fit for an Autopsy, I would say go back and listen to a couple of tracks. Um, now, on previous videos, I have spoken about the lyrics. These guys, um, man, these guys are some of the best. Well, Joey's one of the best writers out there. Um, now, this is just, I'm hoping that this is actually the lyrics um, because this is just from a, a comment on the on the um, actual YouTube video. So, it never ends. The rats that carry the plague would stand each passing wave, gnawing through the resistance. Earth aches to open and shed the surface. Hell will greet us with vengeance. Holy fuck. That's so metal. Pits of devils send whispers through soil. All life is fleeting. Sickened servants, the common... It- extinction of irrational beings man that is so relevant isn't it um i did wake up feeling a little bit like over being in my own house so much uh lately so uh a song like that definitely um makes me feel a little bit better that other people are are feeling a little bit the same you know well it's it's horrible that everyone's feeling this but you know i don't feel so alone which is which is cool um now I do have to say that, like the the imagery of that video was was fantastic. It did remind me of um, "Thy Art Is Murders, uh, There Will Know Another." Um, that is a fantastic, um, you know, standalone track from "Thy Art Is Murder." Um, and I know that Fifth for an Autopsy and Thy Art are very good friends, uh, along with the Acacia Strain. Um, if you haven't had a chance, you should go and listen to the Depression Sessions, where all three of them got together and they made a, a three way split. They each did a cover. What was it? Uh, the Acacia Strain did a Soundgarden cover. The Artist Murder did a Ramstein cover, and Fit for an Autopsy did a Nine Inch Nails cover, uh, along with a, a a brand new standalone track for that for that release. So if you haven't had a chance to go and listen to that, you definitely should. Um, what did you guys think of Fit for an Autopsy? Is this your first time listening to them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you've got any recommendations for reactions, let me know. Um, I'm going to try and get as many reactions out this week as possible. Um, also, I just want to let you guys know that um, we're probably going to be locked down for around three months in Australia. Now, in this three months, I'm going to be releasing videos basically every other day or every day if I can, um, especially during the week. What I'd love to see happen, and you know, if you if you can, and if this is your first time here, or if it's your second or third or fifth or tenth time, and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love you for you to subscribe. I'd love to get to ten thousand subscribers by the time this this lockdown is over. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can rally a team. All right, I've been Luke, the Metal Hunter, and we'll see you next time. Bye.